नमस्कार स्टूडेंट्स सो इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द पावर ड्रोन बाय योर सेंक्रोनस मोटर सो इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिफाइंड योर इक्विवेलेंट सर्किट फॉर योर सिंक्रोनस मशीन आइदर इट इज अ जनरेटर और अ मोटर आल्सो वी हैव ड्रॉन फॉर अ डिफरेंट फेज डायग्राम ऑफ योर जनरेटर एंड मोटर इन केस ऑफ लेगिंग लीडिंग एंड यूनिटी पावर फैक्टर ओके एज फार एज पावर इन सिंक्रोनस मोटर एज कंसर्न टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डेरा दैट इक्वेशन एंड वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट दैट ओके सो जस्ट लुक एट दिस सर्किट डायग्राम ऑफ योर सिंक्रोनस मोटर अगेन हियर यू कैन सी आई हैव रिप्लेस्ड दिस ई एफ बाई माइनस डेल्टा बिकॉज इफ यू जस्ट लुक एट द फेजर डायग्राम ऑफ योर सिंक्रोनस मोटर विथ लीडिंग लोड यू कैन सी दैट योर ई एफ विल बी इन डाउनवर्ड a downside uh, as far as uh, compared to your uh, vts concern okay so this direction i am considering as a negative upward direction i am considering as a positive in case of a generator so that is why i am considering minus delta right here okay so i am not going to draw the phase diagram of your uh, motor again okay you can see it will be something like this only and if you want to understand how we can draw this just go and check my previous video okay so from this uh, uh, let's say we are interested to find the total power and that is s we can write as a vi conjugate where v is nothing but your terminal voltage vt and i is nothing but your armature current i a if you just uh, write the equation again that is e f is equal to vt minus i a r a minus i a into j x s okay now uh, many of the times uh, this value of your we can say value of r a is very much less than the value of your synchronous reactance and that is why we are uh, rewriting this said as is equivalent to only excess only okay we are not considering the value of ra and most of the time uh, the power system engineers uh, replace this term as only j excess they are omitting this term that is ra okay that is why uh, this uh, let me just tell you this vt is nothing but your vt at angle 0 we are considering ef as ef at an angle of minus delta okay and this term can be written as uh, ef is equal to vt minus of ia into zs only okay so uh, uh, let me just uh, this is uh, this are the vector that is why ef at an angle minus delta is equal to vt at an angle 0 minus ia and zs at set is angle at an angle beta and we are interested to find the value of ia because in in the here in in power you notice that it is s is equal to vt multiply by ia conjugate so we are interested to find the value of ia first and we'll take the conjugate and we'll have the ia conjugate if you put uh, this value of ia conjugate in this equation and you'll have your total power okay so we are interested to find the value of ia from this equation 1 so let me just write here only so uh, the value of i a will become your e f at an angle minus delta this v t will be minus v t into angle 0 divided by your z s at an angle beta okay but the sign will be negative this is a negative because we are taking this v t left hand side okay so if you just take i a it is nothing but vt at an angle 0 minus ef at an angle minus delta divided by z at an angle at an angle beta okay it is very easy we have just uh, simplified this equation now we are interested to find uh, i a conjugate let me just uh, simplify this equation again that is vt at an angle 0 minus beta will be vt by z as at an angle minus of beta okay say minus ef divided by zs at an angle 
this minus delta is already there minus beta so it is minus delta minus beta okay now uh, we are interested to find the i a conjugate in that case all the angle will be multiplied by minus 1 so it is vt divided by zs this will be beta only minus ef divided by zs delta plus beta okay so that is it now you just put the value of i a conjugate in this equation i am not going to put okay uh, this is for one phase and if you talk for a three phase this will be multiplied by 3 okay in that case your total power will be yeah, vt into i a conjugate that is vt multiply by this vt will be vt square i am directly this equation that is zs at an angle beta minus vt into ef this vt is already there and this ef divided by zs at an angle delta plus beta okay now now if you want to find the your active power p and you just take your real part that is vt square zs cos beta minus vt into ef by zs cos delta plus beta same way you can find a reactive power by just replacing this real term with imaginary term okay i am not going to find that now uh, many a times as we have already discussed that uh, power system engineers are uh, just omitting the value of i a because generally the value of x s is far greater than the value of r a that is why we can simply neglect the value of r a in that case this equation can be rewritten as okay this will be a special case and when your value of zs is just j into xs we can write it is nothing but xs at an angle of 90 because in purely reactive uh, circuit your current is lagging your voltage by 90 degrees so we can replace it by xs at an angle 90 and if you just place the value right here in, uh, as beta is equal to 90 because beta is nothing but the angle between voltage and current so if you put beta is equal to 90 and zs is equal to only xs in that case this equation will look like vt square divided by xs cos of this 90 minus vt ef divided by zs cos of 90 plus delta okay now you know cos value of cos 90 is 0 so if you put cos 90 0 this will be 0 now cos of 90 plus delta will be minus sine delta in that case you will get this equation vt ef divided by uh, this will be the excess only excess sine delta okay so this is the equation number let's say 2 it is your active power or the real power that is to be drawn by your synchronous motor okay so this equation is very important uh, as far as your electrical engineering is concerned we are going to face this equation many a times now one another special case is there when your value between of your delta that is nothing but the angle between ef and uh, your angle between vf and ef it exactly 90 degree so when the value of delta is 90 degree your power will be maximum that is vt ef by xs okay and if, if you just draw this as is your power p as your this delta this is nothing but your power angle curve of synchronous motor and if you draw for different value of delta so from 0 to let's say we are going from 180 0 to 180 in that case the value of p will be maximum at this point and here the value of delta will be 90 degree okay so uh, for p that is greater than p max or we can say for the delta which is greater than 90 uh, the generator will have the stability problem okay 
and for this uh, this much of portion when your delta is between 0 to 90 degree uh, uh, it is not having that stability problem okay we are assuming that and in your system will be stable but when the delta will be more than 90 degree your uh, generator or the motor have your stability problems okay and that this problem will be discussed in uh, later on chapter okay so with this we are closing today's lecture of uh, your power drawn by synchronous motor uh, there is one small topic uh, is left that is power factor in the power control uh, it is already explained in this uh, but uh, we will going to study in next lecture